Think about that one. I was an authority on model trains when I was 11. Today the 11 year old at the breakfast table is an authority on this digital revolution that's changing business, commerce, government, learning, publishing, entertainment, diplomacy, every institution in society. You know Mark Bearline and this whole the dumbest generation, this has got nothing to do with our kids dumb or smart, it's about power. It's about who gets to control the dissemination of information and the communication of knowledge. And the old power structures are being broken down by a new medium and a new generation for whom that medium is like the air. So I'm hopeful that, that I'll stimulate you to think about this stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Let me get to the heart of the matter. Wikis are indeed what our people need at this crucial time in the history of our nation. Thank you. Thank you. I disagree, Mr. Kennedy. Blogs are the way of the future for this nation. A few weeks ago, I created a blog entitled The Watergate Blog. Now, the good thing about these blogs is that you can control the information that's available to the people in the media. You can also keep... ...how to interact with information and with culture. ...with just the pace of life, which is very different now than it was 20 years ago. They're the things. We're not really just consumers anymore. We're also making things. We're putting stuff out there, whether it's just a Facebook profile or something more complex. Narratives where leaders, we're now also having to ask questions about ourselves. What do we need to participate? What skills do we need now? One example of skill might be judgment, where you find some information online and you need to be able to, to decide whether that, that information is reliable or not. Negotiation means knowing how to enter into different groups and different spaces and knowing how to uh, understand what the different norms are. Appropriation, how do I remix and sample content in a meaningful way? One of my favorite skills is, is play, which we define as the capacity to uh, experiment with your surroundings as a form of problem solving. Transmedia navigation. Simulation. Collective intelligence. Perform For the last hundred years we've used the industrial narrative. Schools are like factories, it's an administrative process, it's about control and order. The kids are having a much more stimulating and rich environment outside of schools than they are in school. Kids are very rich content developers today through their social networking sites. They're big communicators through email, instant messaging, and text messaging, and yet all of those things are banned from their schools. Every turned off device is potentially a turned off child. We have to accept as educators that technology is not really a choice. It has created a world. It's just not here to help you teach traditional subjects. It has invented has emerged a completely new environment. It's about relationship, it's about community, it's about connectivity, it's about access. If I could remodel a classroom of today, I, I'm not sure it would be a bricks and mortar classroom. So the student is at the center and school is just one of the ways and places that they learn. But they also learn through communities, at home, in museums, in libraries, and of course online. It's about providing the best quality teachers no matter where a student lives and making those bridges. We've got a classroom system when we could have a community system. It's about opening the door to NASA resources, to the labs that are being developed online at MIT and connecting these students to the kinds of opportunities that will fundamentally shift their academic experience and make them better prepared not only for college but for life. You start with the teacher. 
If I want my students to make, be making global connections, then I'm going to give the tools to my teachers first and provide them with opportunities to connect with other teachers around the world or other teachers around the country. The task here is to give teachers a place where they can swap authentic ingredients and their evidence that those ingredients are safe and tested. Do you know that doesn't exist anywhere in the world? I've just been part of a, a big project that I think is going to change that and change that radically. We have to develop a narrative that sustains 21st century learning. Artistic abilities that calls on their abilities of synthesis, that calls on their abilities of understanding the context, that calls on their abilities of working in teams, that calls on their abilities in some sense to be multidisciplinary, multilingual, multicultural. So the coin of the realm is not memorizing the facts that they're going to need to know for the rest of their lives. The coin of the realm will be, do you know how to find information? Do you know how to validate it? Do you know how to synthesize it? Do you know how to leverage it? Do you know how to communicate it? Do you know how to collaborate with it? Do you know how to co problem solve with it? That's the new 21st century set of literacies. And it looks a lot different than the model that most of us were raised under. Now we're looking at a whole different range of schools. We're looking at schools that are producing genius collaborative, gregarious, uh, brave children uh, who care about stuff like their culture. And to build schools that do that is a whole another challenge. And around the world, you know, people are testing out the ingredients of what makes that work. And those ingredients are being assembled into some just stunning recipes in different places. It's a very exciting time for learning. It's the death of education, but it's the dawn of learning. That makes me very happy. There's skills that involve creative expression. There's skills that involve citizenship. There's skills that connect people together at something larger than the individual levels. Learning new skills, new competencies to make really great things and be full participants. In closing, I want the people of this nation to know that with a wiki, your voice will be heard. I will ensure that everyone has access to every wiki. Let me be the warrior of your wiki. Ask not what your wiki can do for you, but what you can do for your wiki.